Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Live a Thousand Lives. I'm Janaea and I want to thank you for coming back if you've uh, been watching my videos and I want to say welcome to those of you who are brand new. Uh, today's video is my August TBR. So um, I finished nine books in July so I'm hoping to at least read 11 books in August. Hopefully. We shall see because I feel like I'm in a reading slump all of a sudden after book two with on. I don't really want to read. I just kind of want to zone out and play games on my tablet or but that's pretty much it. Check Facebook. I don't know. Uh, so this is my tentative TBR for the month of August. Um, I think I have more than 11 books. We'll count them. The first book I am going to finish because I started it in July and it's a library book and I need to return it is The Pearl Thief by Elizabeth Wine. Wine? Um, it is a historical fiction novel. It's the prequel to Codename Verity. Um, I've heard good things about it and it's a good book when I can sit down and read it. I'm like 140, maybe 60 pages in, 100, 145 pages in, and I'm just having a really, really hard time reading this. I don't know why, because it is interesting. So I guess we shall find out if I finish it. The next book I have to read in the month of August is for a book club I run, and the book we chose for this month is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. Um, the cover is gone because my husband is reading it. He's reading it right now. Um, and when he's done, I will read it. This is a very big book. I didn't, we didn't realize that when we chose it. Um, it's like almost 600 pages. So I really need to start this soon. Um, I know it's like a murder mystery and that it's got interesting, um, different things in it but that's pretty much all I know um so hopefully this will be a good read and fast read for me we'll see the next book that I'm going to finish in August is Museum of Heartbreak I'm only like 10 pages maybe three pages in something like that I started it for booktubeathon didn't even get close to finishing it but I'm going to finish it in August this is one that I'm going to finish in August. The other two books, because they're part of a series um, that I'm going to finish in August or that are on my TBR, is The Heir by Kira Cass and The Crown by Kira Cass. Um, there's the last two books in the selection series, and I'm super excited to see how it ends. Um, I uh, had read the first four before book two was on and then stopped to finish or to do book two was on so I'm going to finish these ones in August. The next book on my list is an audiobook. It is Rick Riordan's Trials of Apollo number two. Number one was amazing let me tell you I listened to number one on audiobook. It was the first book I listened to on audiobook ever and it drew me into audiobooks. I was totally against them before that, but then I listened to it, and the narrator of that is the same one as this one, thank God, because I loved him. He's so funny. The narrator's name is Robbie Diamond, um, and he's hilarious. So I'm really excited to do this. This is also a library book, so I need to do this soon. Um, Twelve and a half hours, that's not too bad. Um, so I'm super excited for this. The next one on my TBR is one that I keep wanting to read, but every time I go to read it, something else catches my attention and I just overlook it. And it's super hyped and everyone seems to love it, but I cannot get myself to read it. So I'm hoping if I put it on my TBR, I will read it. And that's Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Um, I pretty much know that it's about a girl who never goes outside she's sick or something she meets a guy and he changes everything that's pretty much all I know uh, but I am excited because it the movie looks great and I won't watch the movie till I've read the book so uh, you know hopefully I can get into this this month 
those are the main focuses of my TBR, but I do have some more. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. The next book on my TBR is one that I'm also finishing a series. Um, I've read the first three and there's like seven more, but I have them all except for the newest one that's coming out and I want to finish them. And I've read the first five already a long time ago, so I was just rereading the first five. And that is Karen Marie Moaning's Dream Fever. Um, it's part of the Fae Fever series. Such a good series. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it follows a girl named Mac who is, who has just learned that she is not who th she thinks she is and no one that she knows is. And it's about her discovering that she can see these beings that no one else can. Super, super good. Um, so this is the fourth one in the series. I need to finish it so I can move on. So this is also on my TBR for August. The next book is... The Night Circus. I am so drawn to this book. I keep wanting to read it, but then things keep coming in my way. So hopefully I will get to this one this month as well. I really don't know much about this. I mean, I've watched reviews on it and other booktubers and stuff, but I don't really know a ton about this because I don't I don't want to go into reading a book knowing a ton about it. So I try not to know about them that much, you know. So anyway, this is next on my TBR. The next books, there's two books that I am hoping to finish. Um, one is a library book, so I really need to get on this. Um, but I am currently in the process of writing a novel and attempting to get it published. So I always read writing books or books that help with writing. And this is Writing with Emotion, Tension, and Conflict by Cheryl St. John. Um, I have not started this yet at all. Um, so hoping to because it sounds really good. Um, I know it will help my writing. I just need to do it. Any other writers out there have major writer block for like months on end and then you'll have like a good day to a week of writing and then you'll have months on end of no writing at all. I'm in that slump right now and it's killing me. Anyway, so hopefully these those types of writing books will help. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, the next book I have started already, um, I started it. Uh, before Booktubeathon, like right before, and then when I decided to do Booktubeathon, I stopped it. And that is A Love Worth Giving by Max Lu Lucato, or Lucato. Um, this is a book about um, how loving people is not easy, um, especially when they've done you wrong, like they lie, or they're backstabbers, or they're just money hungry, or whatever, or they cheaters. Um, and it's, it's about how you love someone who's hard to love, including yourself. So it's from a Christian author. Um, but, um, I love him. Um, he wrote a book called fearless that I absolutely love. I'm afraid of everything. I swear. And that book has helped me overcome a lot of my fears. So, um, I recommend checking him out um, at least for the information that he gives. He's a phenomenal writer. So, Max Lucado. And then I have a series that I want to start and hopefully finish because it's only three books. I only counted as three. Some people counted as four because there is a fourth book to it, but, um, I've heard you don't actually have to read the fourth book, so I don't know if I'm going to, but I only have the first three. And that is... <sighs> Oh, and forgive me, I took off the dust jacket to one of them, but that's okay. Maggie Stiefvater's The Shiver Trilogy, and this is forever. Um, I've been, I ha I've had forever for like a year and a half, and I didn't realize when I first picked it up that it was part of a trilogy or whatever. Um, and so... I didn't read it and didn't read it because I went home and I looked it up and, you know, to make sure it wasn't a series before I started it. And sure enough, it's a series. So I went out and about two months ago, bought the first two. 
So we're going to start this one. Hopefully I'll get to all three, but I don't know because I have a big TBR. What can I say? Kind of hoping and praying I can get it done. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen books on my TBR. I only am hoping to finish eleven. I mean, I hope to finish all of them, but my goal is at least eleven because I want to add at least two books every month from Book Tubeathon from July because I did super well in July for myself. So I'm hoping to at least read two more books. So that would be 11. So that is my August TBR. I would love to hear from you what you were planning to read in August. And if you have any thoughts or comments on any of these books, don't give me spoilers that I don't want. But if you, you know, didn't really like one or you did really love one, let me know down below without spoiling it for me why. You know, I mean, I don't want to know if someone dies or if someone breaks up or none of that. But, you know, uh, let me know down below. Um, also, if you have uh, not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below and ring that little bell to get notifications from me. And just remember, guys... A reader lives a thousand lives, and so can you. Keep on reading. Bye.